Welcome to The Creative Influencer, where we discuss all things creative with an emphasis on influencers. The Creative Influencer is hosted by John Pfeiffer. John is an entertainment attorney in Santa Monica, California, who represents influencers and other creatives. This is episode two of the first season of the Creative Influencer Podcast. Today we have Martin. Martin bought an Instagram account from a user in Turkey, then lost the account a couple of weeks later. Martin did it because, in his own words, I knew I could absolutely make a killing off of it. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Thank you for sitting down with me. What is your name? Martin. Is Martin your real name? No, it's not. Uh, we're going to go through the story, but you bought an Instagram account, correct? Right. And do you still have that Instagram account? I don't. And that's the story. <laughs> okay, so uh, are you currently on Instagram? Uh, I am, yeah. Was there a period of time where you shut down all your social media? Yeah. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about the decision to buy an Instagram account. At some point, you decided to buy one, correct? Right. Did you ever consider buying a YouTube account? Actually, yeah, they are available. Um, but I feel like they're harder to connect to your brand to, so that's why I didn't do it, but you can buy them. And did you... Scoop just a tad. Did you consider buying uh, a Snapchat account? No. But you did... Uh, consider buying an Instagram account. Right, I, I definitely considered it. And why did you get? Where did you get the idea to do that? Uh, it's pretty funny, actually. Uh, Facebook allows advertisements, and they were somebody was advertising an Instagram website where you could buy them, and I was like, oh, on Facebook, on Facebook, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which is really funny to me. Um, after you saw that ad, how long was it before you did any further research on it? Oh, right right there. I started researching it. And what um, did you find? Are there, there are obviously sites where you can buy them. Right. I didn't see many downsides to it. Uh, I did research and I figured out these can be stolen and there are some shady people that may sell them. Um, and that's... That's pretty much all I researched. I didn't see many downsides. I'm pretty optimistic. So, so a glass half full guy. <laughs> yeah. So when you when you were doing this, what was the business plan? What was what, walk me through how were you going to make money? Uh, I was going to buy the account, uh, create a, my brand around that account. Uh, you know, make me the brand of Martin. Uh, make it something so I could make a lot of money on him clothing brand, uh, posters connected to this page, this art page, um, you know, I would become an influencer, so to speak, uh, you know, like any other. Right. So, so you found, how many accounts did you look at before you settled on the account that you purchased? There weren't many the size of the one I bought. <laughs> um, <laughs> and <then how> so, <laughs> so, uh, only a few, I really had interest in only large Accounts. You know? How many followers were in the account that you got? Uh, close to three million people. Yeah. And it was an art account. Art. Yeah. Do you have any idea how long the account had been up? Years. It had been around for years. Uh, so four, four years. So the business plan was to you were going to post different posts where these can be sponsored posts. Uh yeah yeah I did the I did those as well. Uh, paid posts for artists, you know, they want their work shared. Um, I did some of that. Um, but really where I saw the money was when I would create a brand and connect it to that page, you know? So you had said that you didn't see much of a downside. No. Okay. Uh, at the time, were you aware that according to Instagram's terms of use, that it was against their basic terms to sell or to solicit and buy the credentials of other users? Uh, uh, when I first bought it, it, I really wasn't thinking about that at all. I mean, first of all, I found it on Facebook. So, I, I mean, I didn't really think much of it. I was like, oh, it's an Instagram account. It's not a big deal. Right. 
you know? Um, but as I got more into it and I started to be, you know, figure out more, I, I became concerned that something could happen, you know? Which is an object lesson that Facebook doesn't monitor their ads very closely. Right. Well, it, at all, maybe. Yeah. Or they weren't, right? This is before all the stuff going on right now. Right. Um, so you decided to go forward. Right. You found the account, 3 million followers, art account, thought you could monetize it. What's the next thing you did? After buying it? Well, how do you go about buying it? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of different ways, but I sent a wire transfer. But to, before you sent the wire, I mean, did you right. communicate with the owner of the account? Oh, for, for weeks I spoke with him and, uh, he even built up a friendship, you know, I thought he was a good guy. <laughs> I thought he was a great guy. And now, when you say spoke, was this text messages or emails? And texts, uh, no email. We Skyped. Um, we videoed on Kick. We would use Kick. I think that's what it's yeah. called, messaging app. So this isn't like a catfish thing. You actually saw what the owner looked like. I saw what he looked like. I heard his voice. I texted with him. I mean, I spent many hours talking to this guy. He robbed me of time. <laughs> <laughs> did he say why he was selling the account? Uh, yeah, he did. He gave me a reason. He told me that he needed money to pay for school, and I said, well... You know, that makes sense to me. But if they had three million followers, was he monetizing it he, when you bought it? He was doing a horrible job monetizing it. And that's why I was like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. That's He, he must just know how to grow social media pages, but not really understand the business side. And honestly, there are a lot of pages like that where they haven't really monetized them very well. And I thought this was another one of those. So you bought it, and right. then you said a second ago that you wire transferred money. All right. Um, was it wire or PayPal? Wire transfer. And he gave the bank credentials. Uh, yeah, I guess I suppose. Uh, well, there were two separate payments to him. And by credentials, what do you mean? Well, is it wire instructions? Uh, yeah, the account number and the bank name. Yeah. And, oh okay. yeah. Okay, so two separate payments. Payment before and a payment after? Payment, uh, anything under $10,000, over $10,000 from, this is, I figured out later. Right. Um, over $10,000 tips off some something in America, if it's an international wire, some something. Triggers something. Triggers something. And I figured out that's probably why he had me. So he, it was his idea to have you do two payments. Two separate. And I was like... I, Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't understand. I was naive to it, you know? Yeah. Uh, how old are you? 25. Um, so the first transfer, how much was it? 5000 5000 And the first $5,000, uh, was that before you got control of the account or after you got control? He actually gave me control of the account before I sent any money, which might raise a red flag right there for somebody. Yeah, but did it for you? No, I was like, well, we're we're buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it didn't raise my flag. <laughs> okay, so he transfers when you uh, was it just the login that he transferred the password? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he transfers the password. You then uh, transfer five thousand right. dollars. How long after that he gave you the password did you transfer the money? Uh, maybe a day. He was kind of freaking out from what I remember. He thought I wasn't going to send it, but I was like, look, I'm an honest guy. I'm going to. And then the second payment, how long was that before it was transferred? I sent it the, the next day after the first okay. five. Yeah. Uh, how long? Let's, let's, let's uh, do a spoiler alert and then we'll go back and fill mm -hmm. the gap. Um, you don't have the account anymore, correct? No, I don't. What happened to it? Um, I wish there was some great story I could, <laughs> I could tell, but it was taken like a couple weeks after I got it. Uh, it was gone, and then I found it back for sale. So <laughs> on the original, <laughs> on the original side, I got it from, and I went back to the guy and I told him, and I was like, "Hey, did you take this?" And he's like, "Well, of course." He's not gonna say, "Yeah," you know. He's like, "No, absolutely not." And I was like, "Ah." Oh. 
I know, I know he did, but I can't do anything about it. He was not even in America. You know? Where was it? What country? <laughs> <laughs> um, Turkey. Turkey. Okay. Turkey. <laughs> so, so just set the scene. You will hear money to Turkey. Um, right. And we've talked about this before, so I'm not, I'm, you know, this is, this is to get the story out. Right. Um, and then the account is hacked from you after how many weeks? It was a, it was a couple weeks. Yeah. But you're not sure it was the guy that originally sold it to you? I mean, probably. But. I mean, I'm not sure, but I mean, 95% sure it was back for sale on the same side I got it from. How long after, after at it the was same from you? At the same price. <laughs> so <laughs> it's probably the same guy, you know? Um, and did it, uh, did it look to you like somebody bought it? I mean, did it say on the again? Floor? Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. It, I did. I saw that the account had changed a little bit again, and it was off that website, and somebody else had bought it. So who knows how many times this guy has bought and sold it? Bought and sold it. You know, I didn't even know that was a thing. But uh, and then is the site currently up? Uh, not to my knowledge. It looks like Instagram probably took it off or something happened. Um. How did you value the account? I know that was the sale. You pay the sales price. Value? You mean... Like when you saw the, the there was this art site for sale for this amount of money, how did you say that's a good deal or not a good oh, deal? Oh, I mean, for me, I knew I could absolutely make a killing off of it. I, I mean, I was speaking to people in the industry and we were trying to, we were going to monetize it and we were thinking, I mean, hundred, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars a year I could... Monetize monetizes for you know it, um, fifteen thousand dollars was nothing right for this, um, and not to say you can't do that. I mean, I mean, I'm sure other people have done that with other pages, you know. Right. But. So the first thing you get it, you log in. Did you change the password? Yeah. Yeah, and email. And is it affiliated? Was it affiliated with your Facebook account? Yeah, I connected it to a Facebook page connected to my account. And did you change that account as well? The password I, to that account? Yeah. Do you have any idea how this guy hacked in and got it after you changed the passwords? Well... I mean, in hindsight, sitting I, back and... I think he's a good hacker. That's what, you know, he probably went... I My philosophy is he probably went into Instagram's code... And then somehow took it back. I don't. I don't know. I mean, he's a he's a hacker. I have no idea how to do well, anything. He's not an honest guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, okay. So takeaway lessons. Uh, would you do it again? Or let me rephrase that. Are there under are there circumstances under which you would do it again? Circumstances. Uh, maybe you know. What would you do differently? Make sure he wasn't in Turkey. <laughs> um, and okay, rule one. Make sure they're not in Turkey. Yeah. Um, I would not wire transfer the money. I would go through PayPal only. It doesn't matter how good the account looks. I would go through PayPal. And why PayPal? Um, PayPal, you can pull back the money. There's a dispute process on PayPal. Okay. Wire transfer... It, doesn't really work like that um what advice would you give for somebody who's thinking about buying an instagram account um probably don't do it unless you really know what you're doing and the only way to know what you're doing is to do a ton of research on it and maybe even make mistakes like me (laughs) 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 you know so yeah that's my advice okay Well, Martin, thank you. Yeah, no problem. That's it for this time. If you enjoyed our podcast, please write a review on iTunes and tell your friends to subscribe. If you have any questions about influencers or suggestions for future episodes, email them to john at pfeiffer at pfeifferlaw.com. Thank you for listening.